the year is 2012, and Big D's Toy Chest is back with new lines for the new year and all the classic toy lines from our past. You will find such lines as Visionaries, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, and Transformers, plus much, much more. Come visit our site at www.bigdstoychest.co.uk. The Motor Master welcomes you to the best show that the Motor Master has ever seen. It's the Motor Master Stunt Gun Show. <laughs> Come and see the thrills, the spills, and the Motor Master's daring stunt team do daring stunts. Hey, Tucky Con. Me, I'm doing Tucky Con. The Motor Master invites you to the show, and the Motor Master only really wants to know one thing. Are you bots ready? Transformers Timeline, it's the stoke to calm job. If you want it, it's out now from Fun Pop. Bunch of actors, you know that commercial. No one can ever want to see us, they're only too busy being in safe to talk. You're listening to the old oil house lock in. With your hosts, Gruffline. Crashing through the sky comes the feline cry. Space car! Dark Ages. What's this? Is it chocolate? Little Billy, it's chocolate. <laughs> you eat up, little Billy. And Chaos NV. <laughs> Always tell your mommy before you go off murdering people. <laughs> we should go anywhere where the nuclear weapons run. <laughs> Yay, It's a lock in without gruff. So it's just us two. Yeah. It, it, we apologise in advance. He's let us off our leashes. <laughs> we don't have to be subservient to the grafster anymore. Don't, don't in my ear. Okay. With his athletic ears. Yeah. Obviously muscular in the ear. Yeah. It, it, well, it's the only part of him that is muscular. Oh. He is girly though. Wow. Kind of harsh. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do a quick lock in. Um, just so we can get caught up with news since we've been absent or busy with other stuff over the last few weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah obviously, I'm, it's me, it's Stu, it's Dark Ages. I'm going to be doing Adam's job this week, so I'm just going to chuck in random comments and sit there going, I love Steampunk. <laughs> I love Steampunk stuff. Even though it's an antiquated and an motor system, I love the Steampunk. Ooh. Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, and, and, Joining me is uh, that fella. It's Chaos Envy. Good, good. Uh, no AKAs to do this week. AKA. We'll do no. one. We'll do one. Chaos Envy. Yay, it's <laughs> Rob. Um, um, as per usual, we are sat in the old our house slash Rob's kitchen to bring you some news and some stuff. Stuff! Three. So, Mr. Rob... In yes. the time that we have been away, you will have gained items, items that have brought you joy or pain, happiness or displeasure. Would you care to share with us what items you have received in your absence? Well, um, not a lot. Oh. Which is quite sad. But I did get a um, a rather nice game by the name of Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Oh. Very, very nice. Future soldier. Um, not an overly interesting story, as I can't really tell what the story is apart from rebels trying to overthrow Russia. Yeah, I was about to say, it's probably going to do something with Russia. Yeah. It seems to be um, the focal point as of the last few years. But, you know, the, the gameplay is just amazing. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. I mean, Ghost Recon always was good for gameplay mm-hmm. and that, but they keep 
kind of interweaving these little FMVs, which are trying to make you care about the uh, the actual characters. <laughs> I don't. I just want to play the game. Nah. Um, but no, it's it's really really good. Um, if you like proper military shooters, but don't want a dumbed down Call of Duty kind of game. <laughs> Uh, go for <laughs> go for um, go for Recon it's quite it was me thinking you might be politically correct as such and avoid naming a certain game hell properly. no okay Mr. Rob anything else you got apart from Ghost Recon um, yes I finally succumbed <laughs> and I bought myself something um, I bought myself a driver belt try you on two driver belts mm-hmm this one, however, was from my favourite series, and it's the one I really, really wanted. Oh man, you got the blade belt. I jest. So yeah, um, I was I was originally going to buy one of the uh, Taiwanese ones until I realised they changed all the sound effects on them. Bastards! Why? Just why? So um, the, the the sound sounded too Japanese. Which makes me worry about the old belt because that was what I was going to do for the old one. Yeah, if um, if you haven't figured it out from uh, you know previous shows, it's a uh, <laughs> W uh, driver belt. Um, but it was the reissue one I got, so the reissue one actually comes with the memory rather than the uh, original four. So that's all six main memories, which means if I so choose, I could uh, buy the uh, considerably cheaper um, Korean, one, really? Korean Magnum and uh, Shaft and uh, have the right memories for them. <laughs> I just have this image of Korean Shaft. <laughs> it's a Korean dude. In fact, it's Kim Jong Il before he died with a big afro and the mustache. <laughs> and just the guys behind was going, you know that Kim Jong Il is a bad butter. Shut your mouth! Well, I'm talking about Kim Jong Il. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I would do the whole pension thing, but it's very, very loud. Mm. So how does it feel now to have one of your proverbial grails? Oh, brilliant. I, <laughs> I, I actually literally stared at the box for a while before actually opening it. True, it isn't, it, they always do nice boxes. They do. They do. That's why I've kept all my belts and drivers and weapons, etc. and memory boxes, because they're all cool. I, I've got rid of most of mine because I just don't have the storage for mm. it, but... Mm. Yeah, that's so it's nice. So more imaginative and exciting than European packaging. Mm. Yeah, it hasn't got twelve different languages on it. It's got one. It's one I can't read, read <laughs> but it's one. <laughs> it's reassuring. No, it's um, absolutely fantastic. The you know the the level of detail and everything. I don't know, so. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's. Uh, a little bit more than I wanted to, but mm. um, it was my own fault because I hesitated. <clears throat> Those ones were always going to be expensive. They were always going to be popular. It wasn't too bad. It was <clears throat> shipping on most things that mm. that caused the problem. So, uh, but you know, I've got it now. And I'm happy. Exactly. I reckon if the if the Korean ones hadn't changed the sound clips, you wouldn't have paid as much. No. But there's been a rush from mm. because of the Korean one. <sighs> but yeah, it's awesome. So now you have a super best engine. A super <laughs> best engine. <laughs> yeah. uh, so now all I need to do is start watching the show again so I can actually change the memories along with them. <laughs> I never did that. I probably should have done. Um, anything else then? That was it. Mm. Well. <clears throat> I suppose it's my turn then. It um, is. As anybody who knows, um, in the time we've been away... I had a visitor. Who was that visitor? It was the lovely Mrs. Slick. I don't know if she hates me using that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, well, she's not here to hit you at the minute. No. So. <laughs> so she, she was over for two weeks. That was. It was fun. It was expensive, but it was fun. I am kind of settled the fact that I'm going to go over there forever. Bye bye, UK. And that's the thing that just occurred to me. Go on. I thought she's not here right now to hit you. Oh. What if she saves it all up when you get round there? Oh, I'd be rude. I could play the argument of I didn't serve up, because yeah. I might have forgotten about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, um, brain won't work. Yeah, so she brought a few things over for me. Um, she, I'd found some on eBay, which I just had to order. <laughs> um, somebody was selling San Diego Comic Con power cock and buying up promotional posters. Ooh. So I got it. it was, nice. <laughs> it's got like skyburst ugh, on one side and the other side. It's like here's your five man team, so here's a couple of the two mans, and here's all these combos you can do. I was like, oh, I'm gonna own it. I'm gonna own it. So nice. I got that. Um, also got a bottle of chocolate and sweets. Oh, and Twinkies. Twinkies. Okay. All the Twinkies have gone now, though. Apart from that, I've got chocolate filled ones. Ooh. Not as good as the cream ones, though. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. Um, what else is there? Um, while she was over, she nicely got me uh, the Cyberverse Energon drill, since that was released and reduced. Yeah! Nice. So I got that in a tiny knockout. And then about two days later, I went and bought two Cyberverse vehicles to crew it. Nice. <laughs> they aren't bad, actually. Hmm? For Cyberverse. Little tiny days, they're not bad. I don't want any more, though. I think I'll be made for Cyberverse. Hmm. Maybe one of the Commander dudes to light up with the drill light-up thing. Because that's cool. Well, the, um, all the original <laughs> Cyberverse Prime stuff seemed to be in pretty decent quality, wasn't it? It's not bad. From what I'm saying, it's not bad, but you've got to remember... It's Cyberverse, so it's limited by its size. Mm. But I'm thinking of Starscream or a Megatron, just go along with it. Nice. And then I can use that light-up thing in the back of the movie. Whoop. Cool. Um, what else was there? I haven't actually received a bunch of stuff. I'm waiting on stuff to arrive. <laughs> but what stuff? Um, but I'll talk about that when I get them. Um... On the actual two weeks while she was over, we barely ate in the house the first week. <laughs> it's like two or three pub lunches. Came around to yours for one. Mm. Went to Shanghai, Shanghai twice. Went to see the Avengers twice. Uh, God, we did it all sorts. We were all over the joint. So I want to say a big thank you to Ewan Becker for having us over. No problem. I want to say a big thank you to Adam for taking us for a meal. I want to say a big thank you to Adam and Wendy, uh, Alan and Wendy, sorry, for taking us out as well. We had a nice day out by the lakes. Um, so uh, Mr. Brown's parents, which is always nice to see them. Um, saw his little boy Blake. He's got big, terrifying how big he's got. It's been like two years since I've seen him, but he's huge. <laughs> <laughs> you do have that effect, children. I know, but it's worse when you like you see him every other week. It's fine. Mm. Like I don't notice him, neither it's every other week. I haven't seen the baby for two years. Last time I seen him, I was cradling him in my arms, freaking out because I don't like holding babies now. Well, I do now, but and now he's like running around and saying stuff, and it's like, ah, he's a tiny person. Ah. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I got Minecraft. Oh, say goodbye to my life. <laughs> yeah, I've built a forest. The forest now has a lava moat. I kid you not. Um, that's partially done. I still need to get a few more bits of lava to fill that, finish that out. Um, also, thanks to Mr. Adam, I did have a giant snake monument. Mm. Now, after a little bit of work, and I have a snake monument that sticks out lava. Nice. <laughs> it's addictive. That's one of the reasons why I will not be purchasing it. Very addictive. Um... You just lose yourself this morning. I put it on. I got up at about 8 o'clock, put it on, looked at the clock and went, oh, it's half 11. Oh. <laughs> As I say, one of the reasons I will not yeah. purchase it. But it's fun. It's what you make of it as well. It's one of those kind of games. Mm. It's definitely yeah. what you make of it. Cool. At some point I need to start working on making trains. <laughs> trains? You can, you can make, well, you can make minecarts. There's uh, an achievement for travelling so much distance in a minecart. So I need to do that. Cool. Um, that's all about I got. Um, might as well say it on the show then. After Slick's visit, it has been decided that yes, I am going to the States. We're going to be losing a stool. Yep. So we'll organise some. I'll discuss this with you too. Mm. It'll be easy enough. We'll just switch to Skype. Or I'll start my own podcast with Blackjack and Hookers. <laughs> Fact, screw the podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you don't get that reference you were a terrible person 
So you're a terrible person. I'm a terrible person. <sighs> Future armor, they go to the moon. Bender gets kicked out of everything and goes, screw you, I'll start my own theme park with blackjack and hookers. Mm. In fact, forget about the theme park. Yeah, I've not said. Uh... <sighs> you won't even remember the whaling tune, will you? No. Nah. <sighs> it's been so long since I've watched Future Armor. I'm calling social services. I'm not having a parent like that. It's terrible. Oh, well, we used to watch it all the time. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing new. 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 I shall do my best. On the moon, carry a harpoon. <laughs> but there ain't no whale, so we tell told some Taylor, Wayne, and June. Actually, <laughs> I remember it. Right, um, so that's everything we've got. I'm, I get the feeling there's someone I've forgotten. It probably always is with me. Ugh. It's probably something major that you've forgotten and you'll, yeah, I'm probably you'll gonna get told off for. I'm probably going to get a DM in a, a week or so <laughs> whenever Adam gets this. I've got you forgot this. Yeah. Please don't DM me. Please don't. They're all bummers. <laughs> um, just because you're leaving, there's no... no uh, I might as well get in early. I hate it's old. Mm. Suck my balls. <laughs> um, should we do a bit of news? Yes, let's do a bit of news. Do a bit of news! Did you? News! Um, so what news? Newsy news. Newsy news? But there is a bit of a news backlog, so I'm only going to go so far back. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do for news. Do you want to take a news story? Uh, yeah, I was just going to... Really dating when the show's uh, been done. Oh, no. Um, but um, E3 um, just had the first uh, sort of day of it. and By God, it's not uh, shaping up to be fantastic. Nah. Nobody's blown away by it from what I'm mm. um, I've not, I've not actually watched the Microsoft keynote speech. I will. Well, from what I've heard, it's mostly... We're going to go into doing these movies with people. We're going to go into doing music. Mm. Fuck all about games. Yeah, that's that's the thing that's worrying me. So, I'm going to have a watch of it. Um, you know, um, I have seen a few things that uh, people have posted in that, but absolutely nothing that has made me kind of go, Yay, next year's mm. going to be a great year for games! New Gears of War, that's about it. Yeah. I mean, and even then I'm like, oh my lord, I'm just like, well, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, there was Halo 4, which <coughs> we already knew about. Assassin's Creed. I'm Ray, already worried about which Halo 4. we already four. knew about. You think I would be bouncing off the walls? I like with Rage. Mm. I was bouncing off the walls, wasn't I? Mm. That demo came out, I was like, ah, ah Rage demo! Ah! And now I'm just like, Halo 4. Yeah, no game. It just, it just, it's getting worse with everything I heard. Oh, there's a gun that changes shape. There's a light gun that does the... Mm. And we're getting more well, it's, um, tensed up at every It's supposed note. to be the forerunners, is it not? Mm-hmm. They're the main bad guys. Yeah, you're going to be dealing with more of their tech. Because anybody who's finished Halo 3 on Legendary or looked it up on YouTube knows that when they, you know, when it comes out from the half of the ship, mm. it's a forerunner planet. And it's also the same forerunner planet you see in the Halo Legends anime. anime yeah. Yeah. So, fingers crossed. <clears throat> I mean, if it is them, then that's cool. Hmm. Because, I mean, if, if you watch the Halo Legends, they do have sort of guns that change shape and that. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I'm just... I'm apprehensive about it. It's the first one without Bungie. Mm. I don't like how much the Chief Armour's changed. And all mm. this stuff's just making me feel bad about it. But I'm going to see what goes. There is supposed to be reason behind that, though. It like just reason. seems silly. Well, go on, what's the reason then? What have you heard? Uh, what I heard was that uh, Cortana's been improving his armour while he's been asleep. Because let's face it, she's a little crazy. Yeah, she's got to do something to keep her. Gargant your mind on things before she goes crazy. Well, that's the thing, she was supposed to be like seven years old at the start of mm-hmm. the series. And they're supposed to, she's already uh, surpassed her download capacity or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, she should have gone rampant, mm. quote Max, ages ago. Because that was, I know when... Halo 3 trailer showed up mm. and there was Banshees flying by with no pilots in mm. if they hadn't put them in it wasn't the fact it was piloted by Groot mm. or it was AI controlled they just hadn't put them in they didn't think about it mm. and the magazine I was reading at the time was just like maybe Gontana's gone rampant I was like oh that's a bad idea and that never happened mm. 
but hopefully they'll uh, do something with that because even if they stop her from going rampant it'd be nice mm. for, for them to actually address it I'm trying to think what else I saw announcement wise Lego Lord the Rings game that did look quite cool I'll have a bit of that mm. Lego games haven't gone wrong with me so far I'm sure I haven't played all of them I haven't played Pirates or Harry Potter but I heard good things uh, Harry Potter was a bit annoying for Becca because um, <laughs> it wasn't your usual um, sort of blow blow or punch something to pieces to build it. You mm. had to use spells. Mm. And stuff I remember like hearing that. about that, yeah. But um, no, she's uh, she's looking forward to the new Batman one. That's I'm not. It's got the Boy Scout in it, <laughs> but it does have. Um, it's got voices. Mm-hmm. That freaked me out. I just love the um, Batman being all gruff going we, in the trailer, just, we've got to stop him. And then you've got the boys come down going, you think? I just hope if they do like uh, team ups with the Batman, if they do it like in the first game where Batman's a straight man mm-hmm. and the butt of every joke is always his partner. What from there? So how much would you love seeing Superman as the butt of every joke? <laughs> I think it's like awesome. they have reached into my mind and given me what I want the most. <laughs> um, well, yeah, um, having not actually seen um, Sony or Nintendo's uh, keynote speech or anything, I can't speak for the rest <laughs> of E3, but Microsoft definitely didn't do anything to uh, raise the stakes monumentally or anything. I don't think anybody has. They, um, I think, if memory serves, Nintendo showed more of the Wii U. Mm. Including the fact that they are, um, there's going to be some retro gaming on it. Mm. I don't know about backwards compatible. I don't. I don't know the full crack. But they're doing it. I believe it was called the Pro Pad. But basically, just take your Xbox pad, switch the X, Y, A, and B buttons around with the thumbstick, and then change the buttons in the middle. And that's your Nintendo Wii U, Wii U Pro Pad. In fact, when I looked at it on the website, I paused the video on the picture and held up my Xbox pad and just went, hmm. Honestly, it's not even like it's the same shape. I know you're always gonna have the same sort yeah. of generic, but it's so similar. It's shocking. You would have thought that Microsoft would have kicked off. We don't care. Yeah, maybe. So um, anyway, do you want to uh, move on to your news? I do want to mention one thing. One thing that was, I think, it was announced earlier today. Mm. Arkham City on the Wii U. Nice. Showing use of the, t- of the touchpad on the Wii U pads, because mm. that's how you select your equipment. Nice. I like the sound of that. Mm. Mm. Definitely. I like, I like Arkham City, I like Arkham City. Oh, damn fine game. Mm. Making it easier to pick stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to eat free with it. Shall I move on to some Transformers news? Since that's we're a Transformers podcast. Yeah. Read. So this is all Fall of Cybertron because there's been some big Fall of Cybertron stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, over the last few weeks, while we've been away, they've revealed... Hang on, I'm trying to remember the names here. Hard Shell. Somebody else and somebody else. Basically, they've revealed the Insecticons of Fall of Cybertron. Nice. <laughs> Can we get them all in deluxes, please? I know yes, they're please. already doing kickback. Mm? They're already doing kickback. Are they? Mm-hmm. Ooh. So your grass up there. Mm. I just need trap and bombshell. Nice. <laughs> On a side note, hard shell and prime. Woot! Now they've got to do a figure of him. And he was voiced by David Kay. Nice. Mm. Um, what else is there, Sean? Um, new trailer? Yeah, with Metroplex. Yeah! That was cool. <laughs> I was just like, I, I knew it was coming, so I spent the entire trailer going, what's going to happen, what's going to happen? Right, Megatron's got the other hand. Is he going to punch him out of the way? What's, what's going to happen? And his Prime just does the... Oh. And it's just the fact that Prime was on his hand. Yeah. That does look a tad awesome. Mm. Makes me wonder what, if anything, the Decepticons are going to bring out to counter it. Yeah. On. Maybe Tryptopan again. Yeah, maybe. But uh, Bruticus and the Dinobots going at it. Mm. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Please don't do that in front of me. That that in, in my head that fight sequence is what it should have been in the eighty six film. Mm. 
because they just got to me they just got trounced by Devastator. Yeah. Or is that just it was a good bit of back and forth. <clears throat> Definitely. And just because we've mentioned him in a well follow Cybertron method, we have to use the term motherfucking space T Rex. Mm. It's contracted now. It's you now everybody who says follow Cybertron then can do a Grimlock has to mention in leaf ones. <laughs> I can live with that. Oh, so we have been led to bleed by Mr. Tiger. Um, what else was there? Follow Cybertron toys. The wave breakdown for the case is out. For wave two, which mm. is your Bruticus. Two primes, two jazz, one of each can back on. Yeah. So jazz and prime's going to be shelf one. Because mm. anybody who really wanted him will have got him in wave one. Yeah, that's a little weird. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that one at all. But then I don't know what's going on with Fall of Cybertron full stop, toy wise. Game accurate Bruticus going to San Diego Comic Con. Mm. <sighs> Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for my jet fire from the first game. <laughs> Being more of Marlowe getting a star screaming paint in white. Yeah. Um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, G2 Bruticus. Mm. So bad. We don't know a lot about it. It was in a picture. I didn't read the full thing, I'll admit, but somebody's got mixed. It looks like somebody's going to get an exclusive on G2 Fall of from Bruticus. But we're talking proper G2 colours. So Swindle is bright orange with purple stripes. Blindly. I know a couple of people will be happy for that. I, I, I need to know what's coming out where and when and what's going to be easiest to get because I need to start making decisions about which Bruticus I'm going to get. Um, What else was there? What else was there? What else was there? I've forgotten already. <laughs> um, I think that was pretty much everything I'd heard Fall of Cybertron live. Oh, there's video footage of the first level out. Yeah, first Ooh. cutscene, the first, like, the demo, like, the uh, learning level. You play Bumblebee, who has somehow lost his voice. Yeah, I heard about that. <sighs> right. oh, come I'm pissed on. off because I think Johnny Young Bosch did a good job of it mm. in the first game. That's a bit of a shit. Yeah, it's it's that <clears throat> whole thing of we've got to try and make it like the movies. Like, no, you don't. They'll come out of it, I'm sure. Just take him to Ratchet and get him fixed. It's just what's the line from Ratchet? Something like that. Well, his, <coughs> his, his, his voice isn't working, but that's no, no, that's nothing new. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'm having a lot of brain fart about what else I was always going to mention news wise. Yeah, give me the laptop. I'll have a quick scroll to scroll. You can tell the bosses away because we're so unprofessional. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's um, a supposed UK and US Masterpiece Thundercracker release. Masterpiece Thundercracker? Yeah. Uh, nobody knows what it is yet. It was literally just on a planogram. With the stars used to plan out where this, you know, stuff goes on the shelf. Mm. And it was just literally, hey, the masterpiece from the cracker. There's a separate code for it. That was what I was going to mention. Um, there's a separate code for it and everything. Um, don't know what's going on, but it, nothing. We don't know anything about from that at this point in time. Hmm. <clears throat> but popular opinion is it's the redo of the Starscream mold. Yeah. But from the cracker colours. Which is cool. It would be nice to be able to have for people who have been collecting them to have the mm. full Seeker set sort of yeah, thing. Because it means US wise you'd be able to get a full set of Seekers. Mm. Well, if you want to track down that star screen which didn't go to many stores. Yeah, there's a ton of star screen uh, things though, is there not? Uh, that, pieces. No, well, the. Uh, well, I've seen more in it, like the Hasbro. Hmm. <clears throat> the Hasbro release one didn't seem to go very far. It was a Toys R Us, as far as I know. I've never seen one at a decent price. Uh, oh yeah, I've got two bits of news that I need to mention, and then I think that'll be me. Have you got anything else? Not really. Hawken. Um, first bit of news that I'm going to go. Well, the next bit of news I'm going to mention should come as no surprise to some people. TFC's. Palcock and Biner Iron Army Galleries. <laughs> they can't arrive quick enough. Kapow uh, told me I should be getting mine sometime next week. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had a little excited. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, it's a Russian tanker German tanker Japanese plane and an American plane. Hmm. Nice. 
And you know what's really good? Mm. All the robot modes. For those who don't know, they have vehicles, robots, and limbs. The robot modes, the hair, the heads, look like the helmets or the caps for the various nice. countries. Hang on, because I'm on it now, and I'll show you the I'll show you the pictures. So the the German tanky's helmet looks like a German helmet. Japanese one looks like the cap with the flaps on the side. Nice. Russian one looks like the sort of bog standard ball helmet. The American one looks like the Air Force caps. I'm just ah. Oh. As I said, these things cannot arrive quick enough. Really cannot. <coughs> um, I pre-ordered mine a Kapow. I think everybody else should. If you're in the UK, because let's face it. Do you really want to pay America US shipping? No. Um, there he is. So there's the, there's the German tank. Oh, that's good. It's head. He's awesome. Um, this is going to be my first foray into TFC toys as well. These are the guys who did the Hercules. Mm. So I'm here, you know, I'm hearing that Hercules there was faults, but there was fixes, and then they tried to fix them in the future. So I'm, I'm expecting good things. If I'm disappointed, then I will be amazed. Um, they are quite cool. And there's one, the one last bit of news I want to mention. Yep. And yet again, it's Bruticus related. Ooh. But it's not. Okay. Crazy Devi have released another up- uh, releasing a new upgrade set. <clears throat> it goes with your fans project Colossus, aka not Bruticus, to replace the head. So now it has light up eyes. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off, Crazy Devi. Fuck right off. Jeez. I love that figure. I'm a proud owner of that figure. That is mm. one of the things I love the most in my collection. Yeah again, thank you, Adam. Um I don't want a light up head for it. Because it's crazy Nevy, for all I know, that head will switch on and set my figure on fire. Not melt from the top and work its way down, just the full thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Up in one go. They, they don't seem to have the uh, the greatest... Um... Reputation? No. Yeah. No. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I just don't see the point of this upgrade. <clears throat> like so many of their pieces. The only stuff I've ever seen I've sat there going, oh, that's a good idea, is when they do the swords. They'd mm. Menosaur sword and they did a proper size for him and they'd done Pranacon sword. And I, oh, I did think about getting that sword. Because I thought it would look a bit better. It would look better on my King Poseidon slash Pranacon to have a bigger sword that seems more on his scale. Mm. And that was it. The rest of it, fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's it news wise. You're still enthralled with the... I, I am just... Oh, uh, look at how different. nice they look with heavy tread. Yeah. That's where mine are going. And the fact that you can see the little variable bits like the guns from the planes mm. go on the legs. Where the turrets go on the turrets go on the front on the treads. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I want to know at this point is for certain is, is the hands and the feet. And what if anything you can do with the hands and the feet pieces mm. when they're not attached? You know, do they stall somewhere? Do they make it to somewhere else? Oh, I'm excited. Um, they're quite cool. I will admit they are quite cool. Uh, yeah, they're expensive, but then they're also third-party items, so what do you expect? Yeah, yeah. Though I'm still bemused at the fact they released them in two, two, in two packs of two. You get mm-hmm. you get one arm and one leg in each box. Yeah, that's the only thing that kind of bugged me. Was like what? So I was always going to get. I was always going to get all of them if the price wasn't crazy. Yeah, which it wasn't. I think it was what with shipping came postage came to seventy. I suppose that's not bad. I mean, for third party, yeah, that's about right. It's in what I paid for the insect comes. Um, <laughs> well, that was about 40 a piece. And they're, probably, they're roughly a quid to about mm-hmm. one each, so. Um, <coughs> I completely lost my track of that now. <laughs> you, you're just drooling over there. It's yeah, getting just, hands on these toys, aren't yeah. you? I don't want to get my gorilla in the and stick them all over the heavy train. I also I need to put them with um, Steel Show, the repaint, because they keep showing. Um, I can't remember his name now. Bomb Shock. That's the one. Bomb Shock. It was like the Wave 1 dude for mm. the Twin Cannons. I want to know what he looks like on his repaint of Steel Shot. Because mm. he was more of a tan, which I think will fit better with the the tan and the brown of the tank, one of the tanks and one of the planes. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. But the more than likely going to be Heavy Treads, boys. Woot woot. 
Um, have you got a second heavy tread just to put them on? I wish I had. I, should, I kept thinking about it, but now I can't find it. You know all I can find in Toys R Us and the Power Core Combiners? Mm. Fucking Undertow. No <laughs> Fucking Fiver. Bugs no. me, because last time I went in, they had five, and I sat there going, I could have bought all five of them for the price I paid for my one. Son of a bitch. But hey, it's happened. Bastard timing. <laughs> <laughs> um, apart from, the, well, there you go, there's my little rant. Um, I think that's pretty much all I've got news-wise. Have you got anything? No. No, they, all I was going to talk about was um, some of the, uh, uh, what's it called, Fall of Cybertron stuff. Hmm. But uh, you've covered that. It's fine. Oh, one thing I will say is the um, comics. I've been reading the Robots in Disguise and mm-hmm. underneath the eye. Oh my lord, they are so oh good. God, Lord. If you're not reading them, you need to start reading them. Yeah, go to your local comic shop and, you know, don't download them, just buy them. Because they are awesome. Or if you're reading a buddies like I am, buy the trade paper box and come out. Yes. That's what I fully intend to do. Yes. I was actually yeah, I was actually talking to uh, Tommy in mm. our local comic shop and he was saying about it might actually be cheaper um, buying them individually because you know what uh, I do yeah, not like their I'll trade add, paperbacks I prefer, I prefer having trade paperbacks mm. I prefer having that story on in one clump must admit I do like having trades so. mm. it just, it's easier for me mm. oh that's somebody else I got I can't have a minor rant about that I've, got, I've been collecting the Marvel hardbacks yeah coming out every fortnight been good so far, apart from the latest one. Avengers Forever Part 1. What a sack of wank that is. Yeah. It's like, okay, Rick Jones. Rick follows the Hulk around trying to get him out of trouble. Jones mm. did have superpowers. Had almost godlike powers. Now he doesn't. Now he's in a wheelchair. Now he's dying. They try to save him. So, uh, Kang tries to save him because Immortus, who is Kang in the future, tries to kill him. He then uses his powers, which keep bubbling up for some reason, but he can't control them, to summon Avengers, but he summons Avengers from different timelines. So you've got Wasp and Giant Man from the future, but you've also got Yellow Jacket, who hasn't realised that he is Hank Pym. And then you've also got Captain America, just before he quit being Captain America, because America let him down. And you've got Hawkeye, when he has he just lost powers, and he's in some stupid outfit where basically it's a pair of pants and the shoulder fabric. So he's all abs. What? I, and some character from the future who's a villain at the moment would become a good guy. It's, it's all time travel and my head hurts even thinking about it. Kang's finding himself in the future. Immortus knows who he is and knows that he's Kang, but he's still suddenly going, well, I've got to stop myself. That's <laughs> just annoying. It's the first misstep I think it's had. Mm. Everything else so far has been good stories. Oh, actually, that's a that's a point. I did actually see something last time I was in Tommy's, and I'm desperate to get it, but it's so expensive. You have a child, you can tell her. <laughs> um, it is not only Nightfall One and Two in a single volume, Ooh. which is twenty two pounds. It's not bad though. So how much is that? It's not bad at all. I, put, I think I paid thirty for mine, and that was. 15, 16 but years ago? the second ago? volume yeah. is the first time they have published Night's Quest. You what? Night's Quest and Nightfall in one volume. <laughs> Which is £22 as well. I need a new copy. I know, it's just like... <laughs> he only had I could do with a new copy of Nightfall and I've never read Night's Quest. Neither have I. Well, I'd like to because it'll be more as real as Batman. Yeah, it was just like, oh, I need to own. Because it always seemed weird that they never released Quest. It just because to me, yeah. I read them too. I read Night, Night's Fall 1 and 2. Then it was Night's End, and it was just like, whoa, 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 hang on. You killed somebody? Yeah. You let somebody get, what? Huh? Bruce can walk? What? what, what? Yeah. And there was only like a little bit of text saying what happened. It was like, okay. Yeah, it's like the, um, for some reason, they just didn't do it as a trade. Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> Months, years later, reading Avriel, and it's like, oh, it, it's Dr. Kinsolving. Why is she a kid? Why has she got the mind of a child? What the fuck? 
so it never made sense. Yeah. So damn your eyes for telling me this. Um, I Why? Apologize. Th- this is this is sod's law at the moment. Anything that I've been toying with, or humming and harring with, for the last month or so, has been showing up. <laughs> At decent prices. Our people have been going, oh, I'm selling this, and my brain instantly goes, shit, I've been after one of them for months. Yeah. It's, it's all annoying, happen- isn't it? It's all happening in one, in one block of time. Since you decided, right, I'm going to be good, I'm not spending yeah. money. If it happened two months ago, boom. I would have been out of that. I would have, yeah. you know, I would have ordered those comics on my phone right now, <laughs> off Amazon or somewhere. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the uh, the Transformers ones, Team Rodimus, mm. I think, is a little better. Yeah, than, I think um, for me, that's still because I prefer the space adventures to mm. the political intrigue. Yeah, political intrigue's the good, but I prefer space adventures. Yeah, I'm. I'm waiting to, for the, everything to sort of kick off again on Cybertron because you know what? Yeah, that's it's bubbling there, and it's just everyone's. It, obviously, um, what's his face? Um, Star screams just working everyone to the point where he oh, can yeah. um, sort of get a coup going or something against the. I'm. So I'm going to say it right now, so it's recorded. When it goes off. Prowl will be partially responsible, or Prowl's actions will be responsible. Mm. That's what's going to happen. Someone's going to come out about half saying what they've been doing. Spoilers, by the way. Um, and it'll be Prowl will get it. Yeah. Hopefully, just in time for Ultra Magnus to come back and go, <laughs> as the duly appointed <laughs> member of the Tyrester Card, you're under arrest, you knob. Yeah. That'd be. Uh... But hey, I'm just, hey, new member of the Lost Light. Total spoilers, by the way. Fort Max. Mom. Mom. There we are. Oh. I, I just kind of like... Best That's use right. of a chest locker ever in that issue. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going, to put, I'm going to tell you something because I saw this on the um, Transformers Facebook group. Mm-hmm. They do like a commentary now where the guy goes through the panels. Yeah. That page where he's killing the two Decepticons. Yeah. If we go to Handy Dandy, this is what I noticed earlier at last time of the records. Yes. And you go to right near the end, or Overlord's Fighting Cup. Does any of this lot ring a bell? There we go. Keep going, keep going. Rips a dude in half. Mm-hmm. Four max rips a dude in half. Uses the two halves to knock the other dude out. Fort Max does the same thing. Lots of little parallels. Nice. From last time. I did not know that. I, d- I didn't even. I didn't even tweak until I read until I read that page. Awesome. But yeah, best use of a chest locker ever. Yes. <laughs> and it's probably still rattling around in there. <laughs> He's a little mad. Wouldn't you be? <laughs> I still love that the, just that last page of the previous issue where it's just like I was taken out by a Decepticon and we were existing to rewrite the meaning of power. <laughs> what do you think that, that means? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Fort Max. But I will never own you. <laughs> it's because he kills people if he drops. D- d- just he shatters into dangerous shards. <laughs> That's not killing people. Yeah, it is. It's completely killing people. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I have news wise and conversation pieces and everything else. Anything from yourself? No, no, I, I think I've uh, ruined you enough for, uh, for one day. <laughs> good, good, good. So we're going to wrap this one up. It was only a brief one. Get caught up on news and stuff we got, etc., etc. Yeah, did all the questions through the question cavalry of the super show. Yep, and we didn't do a Twitter challenge because, well, we didn't. Yeah, did. It was. It was just really to put something out there. Yeah. Just uh, to remind you that we still exist. Yes, we do still exist. Don't leave us. We do stuff occasionally. But there is going to be some other stuff uh, coming your way. Yeah. Um, hopefully, there will be uh, a quick change to channel airing soon with a mystery guest. They've spoiled it now. Yeah, so there's a mystery guest. Mm. Could be worse. I could tell them what film it is. You could, but you're not gonna. No, I'm just going to sign off with the with the following. They hate me. A oh, fucking shark hate me. <laughs>
Bye, everybody. Bye. You have been listening to the Old Oil House. Come visit us at www.oldoilhouse.co.uk. Join the forums at the nerdsphere.madmooseforum.com. Email us at oldoilhouse.gmail.com, rate us on iTunes, and give feedback on the forums. Thanks for listening. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. This test of my own sanity. You fool. There may be those who say that they have souls. I see them one night. Something wrong with the engine. There is something out there! <laughs> my name is Optimus Prime. Transformers. Hearts of Steel. Look out over my little bit.